Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. Today I'm going to show you how to play one of the soundtrack from the new Game of Thrones Season 6. And this one is called Light of the Seventh. So this track is originally played on a piano, but I've transcribed it on the guitar and it sounds pretty nice. And it's not that difficult to play. There's no bar chords involved in this tune, even though it might look like I'm playing bar chords, but it's just individual notes. And I do not have tabs for this, so please follow the tutorial. So let's see how to play this. Um, I'm just going to show you what I played in the beginning because that's the main part that I like about it. After that, it just repeats and then, you know, it goes to something else. Um, it's, it's an hour long soundtrack, so we're not going to go through all of that, but just this interesting part. Now we're playing this in standard tuning, even though you can play this tune in various other tunings, but uh, I like to keep things simple, so we're in standard tuning for this one. So let's see how to begin. Now we are beginning with a D minor. Now this can be played over here as well, but I choose to play it uh, in this position because it's easy to switch chords for the rest of the tune. Okay, so you need your first finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string. So this is the sixth string, this is the first string, this is the fifth, fourth, third, second, and first. Okay, so fifth note on the fifth string. You need your ring finger on the seventh fret of the fourth string. And you need your middle finger on the sixth fret of the second string. Okay, now I'm going to use my thumb to play the fifth string and then it's up to you. You can use uh, any fingers that you like. I like to use my thumb, my index, and my middle fingers. So I'll leave that to you. And the picking goes like this. Okay, so we are picking the fifth string. We're picking the fourth string. We're picking the second string. So five, four, two, back to four. Okay. Back to two, four then five then four again so you go like this okay five four two four two four five four so now you come to G minor so for G minor we are just using the top string third fret then we're using fifth fret on the fourth string and we're having a bar over here on the, on the third fret okay so we have um, third fret on the third string as well okay so we're using the top string the fourth string and the third string and you do the same picking pattern you do six string four three so six four three four three Four, six, four. Okay, sir. So from the beginning, you get this.
okay and then you go back to your uh, D minor and you do the same thing you do the same picking pattern like we did earlier five four two four two four five four and go back to five okay so that's what you have so let's play from the very beginning you get this Play this whole thing one more time. So we're gonna play the whole thing one more time. All right. After this, you have some changes. You begin again on D minor, and you play this. So we begin with D minor again. We're playing the same picking pattern over here like we learned earlier. 5, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, 4. Okay. After this, you come to A major. And you just do that on A major. Now you can do that over here as well. But um, like I said, we're using this position over here. So for A major, you need your ring finger on the 7th fret of the 5th string. You need to place your pinky finger on the 7th fret of the 4th string. Then your middle finger on the 6th fret of the 4th string. Sorry, the 3rd string. So you get this. Okay. And you just play. That's all that you play. You're playing the 5th string, 4th string string go back to fourth string and back to third string so you get this okay and after that you come over here okay so we start with G minor again How to play this again we using the same chord shape like we like we used earlier and we're picking the same having the same picking pattern again you got your sixth string fourth string third string so six four three four three four six four okay and then come D major and that's very easy again we can play it over here but um, you got your get your index finger on the fifth fret of the fifth string, and you got these two fingers on the seventh fret of the fourth and third strings, and you do okay. So you're playing fifth string, fourth string, third string, back to fourth string, and then third string again. So okay. So now I'm gonna play everything that we've learned from the very beginning. It goes like this. Are you repeat this whole thing again? What we've learned till now. After this, you come to this part. Okay, these four chord shapes. So we are starting out with again our D minor. I'm not gonna go through the picking pattern, you know how to play it. 
the same picking pattern that we know how to play. From the G minor, you know how to play it. Okay, so these two things are same. After this, you come to this chord. This is sort of like your F. We're using the same notes in the F major chord, but just three of them. So you got your first fret on the top string, third fret on the fourth string, second fret on the third string. Okay, so. And you're gonna have the same picking pattern over here. You got sixth string, fourth string, third string, so six, four, three, four, three, four, six, four. All right? And then you come to this chord shape. And this is very easy to play. You got open on the top string. Then you got fourth string, second fret. Then third string open, so back to the fourth string and back to the third string, so okay, very easy. So let's play this whole pattern again. This whole pattern of four chord shapes. You got this. You leave it at third string open. Sorry. All right. So now I'm gonna again play everything that we've learned from the very beginning. Let's see. I'm gonna go a little fast. You play it again. Okay, so this is what we've learned till now in this lesson. After this, you come to this part. Okay, so we're gonna learn this part now. You begin again with this D minor. We are always starting out with this chord, so you know how to play it, you know how to pick this. Okay, you got your five, four, three, five, four, two, four, two, four, five, four. And then you do this. So here, as you can see, I'm just shifting the bass note over here from fifth fret of the fifth string to the fifth fret on the sixth string. Okay. And here you just have to play the sixth string fourth string, second string, then four and two again, so. Okay, so you play this. And then, like this. Okay, once again, slowly. Come here. And then after that you go over here, this is your B flat, you play this. Okay, so three chords over here. The first one, you're gonna play like this. We are having three notes over here. You're starting out with first fret on the fifth string, third fret on the fourth string, third fret on the second string. So. You just play the fifth string, fourth string, second string, back to the fourth string. So, and then you come over here. 
Now here you're gonna play fifth, the top string first fret. Now you come to third fret on the fifth string. And you play the second fret on the third string. Back to third fret on the fifth string. So you get this. And the last chord is this. Alright, so here we're gonna play third fret on the top string, fourth fret open, third fret again on the third string, so six, four, three, come back to the fourth string, and back to the third string. So from here you get this. Okay, so you get this. And then come over here. Alright. Now again, I'm gonna play everything that we have learned from the beginning, from the very beginning of this lesson, all that we have learned. So what we learn is this. I'm gonna go a little fast. So this is what we've learned till now in this video. Now we come to this part, which is uh, probably the ending part. It goes like this. It starts out very similar to what we did last time. All right, so again, very similar to the last one. We're gonna again start with this D minor shift the bass note all right it's not gonna go through that this is the same what we did last time now here's a change all right so here uh, we begin with fifth string is open uh, fourth string is second fret and second string is first fret so so you play the fifth string the fourth string the second string okay five four two back to four five four two four two four five four okay and then you come over here now this is the same B flat and you're again gonna play fifth string, the fourth string, the second string, the fourth string again, and the second string again. So, you know how to play this chord, right? First fret over here, third fret, and third fret over here. Alright, so you have this. Alright, and now you come to the last part over here. Will be the end of the theme. So what we did over here was, you know how to play this chord already. We've used it the last time. We've gonna uh, put third fret on the top string and third fret um, on the third string as well. So you got six, fourth string, third string. So six, four, three, four, three, four, six, four. Okay. Come over here on the F, you're gonna again 
Uh, you know how to play this chord. You've played it last time. And you're gonna pick the fourth, sixth string, fifth string, third string. So, so six, five, three, five, three. That's the picking pattern. So. Okay, and then in the very end, now you again know how to play this chord, but you've you've already used it. Um, open on the open on the sixth string, second fret on the fourth string, third string open. So six, four, three, four, three, and then you end it by just strumming once on the D minor chord. Okay. And that's the end of the theme. So by the way, for the D minor chord, you need 1st fret on the 1st string, 3rd fret on the 2nd string, 2nd fret on the 3rd string, open on the 4th string. Or you can play over here. So anyway, now I'm gonna play the whole thing, whatever we've learned from the very beginning. It goes like this. part all right so that's how you play light of the seven um, after this um, usually on the piano they just repeat this part again I think a couple, a couple of times and that's how it's played all right so I hope you liked it if you did like this listen then please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more songs and i will see you guys in the next video till then goodbye